sin separate us from God. Sin is the act of going, going against God and his ways. This is in Romans 3.23. Romans 3.23 defines sin as the act of going against God and his ways. When we are going against something, we are separated from, from it. By definition then, sin separate us from God. If we are going against God's word or against something that the Bible says that is wrong, we are separating ourselves from God. This separation exists because God is perfect and we are not. God is pure, He's love, He's holy. Um, Gal Galatians 5, 22-23 Gal Galatians 5, 22-23 It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control against such things there is no law okay here we have on this verse a clear definition of what is exactly the fruit of the spirit what people that had the holy spirit should be experiencing and this is not something that just come like over the night we have to work on it Because as a, our nature, our sinful nature, we're not going to start loving people just because we say so um, daily. Just because we, we try on our own ways, that's not going to happen. Because it's hard to love someone when this person is insulting you or is treating you uh, wrongly. In our own ways, we can do it we can but if we ask God for love we, we and guidance and sorry if we ask the Lord for guidance and to give us that strength to continue trying to continue um, seeking her daily because if we don't do it daily we don't do it intentional every day we put our mind to read the Bible we put on our mind to try to get closer to God It's hard to get all this fruit of the Spirit because on our own we can. But we need God to, to guide us daily and give us the wisdom to, to do this. God can be where sin is. It's that simple. That's why the Bible said that sin separates us from God. Because He's holy. He can be where sin is. And remember... Where the Lord isn't, where the Lord is absent, the enemy is welcomed by default. He's coming in and he doesn't waste time. Remember John 10.10. 10. It says the thief comes only to steal and kill and to destroy. It's very clear. And he is that and more. So when we're any place where, where God is not, the enemy is welcomed by default. Because if the house is left without the alarm, you know, the security alarm on, what's going to happen? Any thief can come in and do as they please. So it's the same thing with the enemy. He has come to destroy us. He comes to steal, steal our peace, to kill and to destroy. John 10.10 10 says, I have, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full, fullness. Okay. Um, I want to leave clear that we have hope. We can change this situation. We can invite the Lord. But we need to have that wanting that desire 
has to grow on us. And you don't really need to have it like a, in a big pro- proportion. You know, the Bible says as long as you have that tiny faith as the mustard seed, you can ask for more faith and the Lord will give it to you. I'm telling you because he did it for me. He keep doing it every day and he can do it for anybody. I'm not special. I'm just like anybody else. Um, finally, um, James 4, 7. James 4, 7, it says, Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. This text is clear. We have to do these steps in this order. We need to submit ourselves to God first. Because without him, we cannot win the battle. We need to submit ourselves. Humbling ourselves. Inviting the Lord in. Then we'll be able to resist the devil. Once we resist the devil with God in our side, he will flee from us. He will leave us because with God is present, he can be there. He knows authority. He knows that he can, he can even dare to, to, to harm us if God is present. If we fight him with the word of God. So my friend, I invite you to today to get close to the to the Lord to invite him in so you not separate anymore from the Lord we need God and with God in our side we know how this story ends we win the battle it doesn't matter what battle you have today it doesn't matter it could be something um some disease that you're fighting, physical disease. It could be some spiritual attacks. It could be financial. The Lord in our side guarantee a warm battle. So please, I invite you to submit yourselves today to the Lord. Ask for, for his guidance, for his protection, and he's going to come in. Uh, that's all for now. God bless you. I'll see you in my next video.